Hello, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Rahim and 5GIC to organize this digit summit. Thank you for the invitation. In this talk, I would like to share our view on the research and the innovation challenges beyond 5G. Since 6G is 10 years ahead, we look at this topic from the angle of big drivers and emerging technologies. At high level, in addition to wireless technology innovation, overall, there are several key factors that will impact and shape 6G wireless network architecture. Number one, the primary motivation for 6G network architecture evolution is AI. In 6G, AI will be the dominant services and applications. Number two, because the primary new spectrum for 6G will be the millimeter wave and even terahertz, we have an excellent opportunity to apply wireless sensing capabilities. In this case, the entire wireless network is a sensor network. The wireless network and the device can do real-time sensing. Number three, 6G will be effectively become the fabric to link between the physical world and the cyber world. From this perspective, the key feature of radio network access are shown in this chart. First of all, from the cyber world to the physical world, this is a typical downlink. The primary service will be the virtual reality for everything. And to access any digital copy in the cyber world. The what the and then we have the wideband tactile channel as the augmented neural system for the physical world. And then the inference channel to exchange the trained AI engine with the end user. Second is from the physical world to the cyber world. This is a typical uplink. The primary application is sensing and to collect the big data for the machine learning. Now, how to compress the huge amount of big data to the network for the machine learning? This is a new challenge. We are working on to apply the information bottleneck theory to explore the new compression technology to train the deep neural, net neural network. On the network side, we have 6G base station node and 6G edge node. For the base station, we will have both sensing capability and to sense the environment in real time and for the machine learning capability. The edge node will mostly use for machine learning as well. In this sense, the classical data center at edge node become the neural center. The base station become the neural node. For the fiber optics link between the neural center and the neural node, the quantum key distribution technology can be deployed. The last new element in 6G is massive low Earth orbit satellite constellation. This is for build up the integrated non-terrestrial and terrestrial 6G network for the ultimate full Earth coverage. In a nutshell, 6G is transforming from connected of everything to connected intelligence. To further boil down, 6G is to use mobile technology to deliver artificial intelligence to everyone, anywhere, at any time. We can leverage 6G wireless network as a sensor network and to perform network-wide machine learning. However, 
in an AR-centric 6G network architecture with the convergence of communication and the computing, the biggest challenge is the computation model. In the recent study showed that the deep learning in the deep learning computing era, the computational complexity is the, at the range of a polynomial growth of the order 3 to 15. To train a model with less than 5% error rate, we need a 10 billions of dollars of computing cost for 10 billions of billions gig, gigaflops of instruction. The optimize the core design with an algorithm for the neural center is a, should be provisioned. In this sense, the AI GPU will eventually replace the CPU and the new type of virtualized network function will emerge. It is expected that the policy-driven reinforced learning can make the network operational and management fully automated. In his joint work with Shannon in 1949, Warren Weaver categorized three levels of communication models. The first is the technical model, which is the Shannon information theory as we know today. The second is a semantic level. The third is effectiveness level. For machine learning point of view, we can study the 6G new communication model with two concatenated channels, the inner channel channel and the outer semantic channel. A lot of machine uh, learning communication, uh, communication, for example, uh, machine to machine communication, human to machine communication, and the machine to human communication can be made more efficient. Since fundamentally communication of intelligence is a learning as well. With this new model, we can truly customize and to learn many to for deliver many personal Lies service. The network and the computing architecture of a 6G will require more research, especially the distributed machine learning. How to split computing and the AI model at a different part of across the network? How to architect the neural center with the pools of computing resources? And how to orchestrate these new neural resources. 6G architecture will consider data governance and trustfulness. In particular, we see a regular, regulatory rules for data protection and privacy protection. These will apply the networking. For the future of AI service and applications, uh, this will become an essential capability uh, for 6G. Another challenge for 6G is the many new network elements. Some of them belong to the fixed infrastructure, for example, the Edge Neuron Center, the base station, sub 6 gigahertz massive MIMO, millimeter wave radio, and the satellite constellation. There are many, many more mobile devices than previous generation wireless, such as variables, sensors, drones, cars, robots. And there are new temporary infrastructure with mobility such as a car, train, drone, and hubs. Fully integration of these network elements will be considered for 60 architecture design at this point, a unified global standards is even more critical for 6G in order to achieve the business success and the societal impact at unprecedented scale. For the very low Earth orbit satellite constellation, in addition to full Earth coverage, 
Video Constellation can provide a global low latency service to anywhere in the Earth. For example, in this diagram, with the SpaceX constellation, the video latency can be lower even than the fiber link. In this case, New York to Los Angeles, New York to London, New York to Shanghai, Shanghai to London. Another aspect is the application with video satellite for band pipe transparent forwarding. Within, say, 500 kilometer radius, we can compute the URLC service at each computing center and use bandpipe to control the autonomous driving. These are the two disruptive new services that 6G can offer. Finally, we can summarize the five drivers for 6G network architecture. The first driver from cloud-centric to AI native. This is because the composition of a 6G network will consist of AI models and AI computing. The network operation will be AI capable and truly zero touch. The second driver for, from information centric to network as a center, as a sensor. This is because the network-wide sensing and the device-assisted sensing will make radio access network with additional side information. And the real surrounding environment sensing is a new type of real-time 4D digital map, which in turn can support all the AI application. And this is a big value added service to any applications. The third driver, from security-centric to multilateral trust model. This is because in addition to secure the information pipe, we need to secure, we need the network platform uh, to build the network platform for many new business and players. The trust and the privacy mechanics will be incorporated in the 6G architecture. The fourth driver from the generic pipe to user-centric model. This is because every user, every service are composed with a customized and optimized network as if the network is a mine. The fifth driver uh, is a new business model from optical-centric to the prosumer-centric. This is because the operator on the public network can be extended and augmented with the other players and actors to provide new infrastructure and to build new services. As we can see, there are many interesting challenges and opportunities for 6G research. I would like to take this occasion of the Digit Summit to look for collaboration with the academia and the industrial friends. And with that, I conclude my talk. Thank you very much.